go ahead and fireball that tar for the win and yeah. nice okay so the cannon card takes out sparky cannon card's about to take out the executioner cannon card's about to take out the ice wizard go ahead and put the screenshot up on the screen right now boom there's the 12 -0. Chick I call it Lola She feel like the ocean Like to drink and smoke some Doja And I feel like smoking Plus she good at charming What's going on you guys, it's your boy Ferg here, back at it again with another Clash Royale video and today we have, as you've seen in the title and the thumbnail, a 12-0 cannon card deck. That's right guys, me, Ferg Noob, just got 12-0 last night using cannon card. So I'm going to go ahead and put the screenshot up on the screen right now, boom, there's the 12-0. There is the chest that I got with the 12-0 and there is the deck that I was using with the replays of me getting the 10th and 11th win. And there, here is the deck. We're going to be using this today. Unfortunately, I can't show you the replays of the actual, like, the live games and stuff like that because, you know, it's the morning after. I was playing at, like, 3 a.m. or something because, you know, I told you guys, I'm back on the grind. I'm back grinding every single day, daily upload, grinding Clash Royale, you know. I'm bored of the other games. want to keep going on and grinding Clash Royale, so I was like, boy... I was chilling in a Discord call with a couple of my boys, and I was like, yo, guarantee I can get 12 wins with this deck. I was playing a guy, he was 79th last season in the world called Blacklight. Let's see if we can get him up right here. Pretty sure he was 79th. Um, yeah, there he is, Blacklight right there. I wonder if he's still using it. Okay, so he's not still using the same deck, but that's the guy who I beat, basically. Um... And he was using this exact deck, and I beat him with Mortar and Ladder, and my friends were saying to me, like, why is this guy using Cannon Cart? It's awful. And I said, yo, I guarantee I can get a 12 win with this deck. So that's what I did. Went into Grand Challenge, I was like, yo, this is going to be so easy. Like, Cannon Cart is so underrated. It's absolutely insane how underrated Cannon Cart is. Like, seriously, if y'all haven't tried Cannon Cart yet in Tournament Standard, you need to go ahead and try Cannon Cart. It's actually really, really nice card. It's uh, honestly really, really good card. So we got the three spell combo there for the Zap Bait. Got the Cannon Cart, Night Witch, Bandit, Mega Minion, and Giant. It's really nice, sturdy combo. Of course, if you're playing against Peggy, you're kind of screwed, but that's the only really deck that you're kind of screwed against. Ignore that loss there. I was using a different deck. I wasn't actually using this deck, and I just kind of was playing around with it. You know, I play around a little bit, a few decks, to try and create my own little deck, but... As for this deck goes, I stole it. Not gonna lie, guys, I legit stole this deck straight out of the guy's whatever when I beat him. I don't know why, but, like, honestly, I was so, like, cocky at the time, and I was like, yo, I guarantee I can get a 12 win with a deck. And, of course, I went ahead and got the 12 win. Okay, so this guy is using a giant skeleton. Gonna see if Cannon Cart counters giant skeleton, because, honestly, I have no idea. This guy has a level 2 executioner? What the heck? Boy, level 2 exe? Yeah, this is going to be a straight up dubs for us. Like, honestly, if we lose this game, I want you all to desubscribe or unsubscribe from my channel if we lose this game. Honestly, I can see myself getting a 3-0 right here straight off the bat. Okay, so he does have Pega. Wow, so this guy's got a pretty hefty counter deck to us. Uh, too bad he sucks and he's got really low level cards. He's obviously pretty new to the game, so can't really diss him too much on that part. I was debating... what. I did not mean to drop that. <laughs> I was going to say I was debating whether or not to drop the giant there, and then I ended up dropping it anyway, so, you know, it's whatever. Going to go ahead and zap that skelly army, and that tar's probably going to go down, depending on what he places next. If he places something that I can arrow, okay, so he's not going to place something that I can arrow, but he's actually going to place an Inferno Dragon. Luckily, we have a really nice hard counter to Inferno Dragon in our deck, which is, of course, the Mega Minion. Sometimes Inferno Dragon does give me a little bit of bother when I'm playing against the Golem Downs, or the Golem Downs? The Golem Beatdown decks, you know what I mean? But as for now, we're looking A-OK. -okay. This guy obviously has really low level cards, so we're going to come out with a W here no matter what. As you guys know, I don't lose against people who have less leveled cards than I. If that Does that make sense? Less leveled cards than I? I don't know if that makes sense, but it's meant to make sense. Basically, anyone who doesn't have the same amount of card levels as I do, I really don't usually lose against people like that. Uh, gonna go in. Boom. Nice. Okay, so the cannon card takes out the Sparky. Cannon card's about to take out the Executioner. Cannon card's about to take out the Ice Wizard. So the cannon card is gonna about to take out three cards right here. If he plays another card that it's gonna take out, I'm gonna go nuts. It's gonna take the tar here, obviously, because the cannon card is OP and underrated. Like, look at that, bro. Like, the cannon card is so, so underrated. Honestly, guys, you wanna be using this card? No joke. This guy's gonna drop a, an inferno dragon back okay no he's not he's gonna be a really big noob and drop a skeleton army and then he's gonna go ahead and drop the uh, minion horde which we obviously have a really hard counter to it because we have those three spell combos which is absolutely 
Dominant. No joke, guys. That is a do dominant. Three spell combos in this kind of zap beat meta. It's awesome. It's awesome possum, guys. Like, no joke. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit, a little bit, it's going to be a little bit dodgy right here. We should be okay as long as all my trips get away, and then we're going to go ahead and get three crying. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Like I said, guys, this deck is super, super good. Kanai Kart is a really, really good addition to this deck. You may have seen a deck or a variation of this deck before the like the new uprising of cannon cart i've seen cannon cart maybe once or twice this season as a whole and that's really not a lot i've seen bomb tar three times this season you know i'm gonna go ahead and open up a crown chest and actually get a legendary no i'm not lightning's not a legendary but whatever i got four legendaries by the way guys yesterday i got ewiz inferno dragon um lava hound and princess i think i got as well yeah so i got four legendaries yesterday when i was grinding out the gcs and i got one in a magical chest one in a silver chest which i actually put on uh, twitter from the shop i was like shop equal buffed because i got a literal silver chest legendary from the shop you know those wee uh, free l silver chests that you get in the shop nowadays yeah i got a legendary from one of those so that was pretty lit i uh, gotta go ahead and put the cannon cart down gonna wait until the uh, wizard targets the giant there we go. My Night Witch is obviously going to die, but my Cannon Cart is going to stay alive. I'm going to go ahead and arrow absolutely everything here. Hopefully, no, our Inferno Dragon, or their Inferno Dragons targeted on our Cannon Cart. But it's okay, because the Inferno uh, Dragons uh, resets when the shield breaks, which is pretty awesome. So we got that tar off a 2,000 health right there. It's down to 585. That is awesome. Playing as Diego Targaryen or something like that. Oh, whoops, I accidentally burped there. Couldn't hold it in, sorry about that guys, but I'm sure you don't mind. I mean, we're all gamers, man. We all burp all the time out loud, so it doesn't really matter. See, if I did that in my time, bro, I would get some heat for burping out loud, and like, no joke. Oh, the bat getting that juicy little shot in. I think I'm gonna go for another three crown here, guys, because you know, I am lit, and okay. Gonna go ahead and put the cannon cart on the other side, because I don't really care. I'm not going to put anything else down. Don't really care if that tar goes, to be honest. Oh, wow. So he's not going to actually shoot the uh, hog rider. That's kind of disappointing, Mr. Cannon Cart guy. But it's okay because I am going to go ahead. Oh, oh, nice. So the cannon cart's going to make it to the tar and start shooting the tar. That's awesome. We're going to go ahead and... Okay, so we're going to go ahead and lose our giant or not. Oh, damn. Yeah, we're still going to lose our giant rip. <laughs> rip Reno. So I am thinking about still going for a 3 crown here. Of course, I didn't defend the right side. I could have defended that easily, but I'm just trying to have fun, guys. I'm not really taking this too seriously because your boy's a savage. You know what I'm saying? Going to go ahead and boom, fireball that uh, wizard away from the tower, hoping that my mega minion will kill it. No, it won't. And I'm not too sure what we're going to do here. We'll see what he drops with the wizard. He might drop the hog. Not too sure. Going to get ready with the cannon car. Nope. Going to go ahead and put the giant at the back. I was thinking about going for the three crown, but I may as well just play it safe and get the two dobs for this video. You know what I'm saying, guys? Um, gonna go ahead and put the cannon cart down. Gonna go ahead and put the arrows down. Doom, dibbity bim bim bim, and that is gonna be all she wrote. As soon as this cannon cart kills this hog rider, it's gonna be GG, no re. As I'm putting down my last two trips to actually seal up this game right here. And that should be all she wrote on this game, to be honest. Because, you know, your boy's a savage and I know when I'm going to win games and when I'm going to lose games. He's going to miss the fireball on the bandit, but he's going to get some other trips with it. Which is fine and dandy by me, you know what I mean? Like, that, that, that's still a reasonably good fireball. I'm going to go ahead and put the giant down. He's probably going to put an inferno dragon down sometime soon. Maybe not, maybe not, I lied. So it's GG all she wrote, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and fireball that tar for the win. And yeah, as you guys can see, the deck is pretty damn lit. It is a pretty damn lit deck, like, not gonna lie. It's a little bit of an underdog deck, you know? It's it's honestly really, really fun to use because Cannon Cart spices things up a bit, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, the, th the three spells, like, when I've never seen people use three spells in this meta, but I guess that's kind of because I'm a little bit lower and stuff. Like, I'm not up in competitive level so far or yet, you know what I mean? Like... Honestly, cannon cart, it's lit. Zap really does get you out of a lot of situations with the goblin gang, the barrel, like those kind of bait decks. Arrows as well get you out of those situations. And then if you need some, the fireball, bro, you got the fireball, you know what I mean? We got that three spell combo. We've got the mega minion to target air. We've got the bats from the night witch to target air. We've got a damage dealer, which is the night witch, obviously doing a lot of damage. Also, the damage dealer can be the cannon cart because as you guys know, 203 damage per shot attorney standard is absolutely insane. The cannon cart also survives one hit by the P.E.K.K.A. before its shield drops. So you need two hits from a P.E.K.K.A. And then that'll get off the cannon cart shield. And then you need another two hits to get the cannon cart to actually die from the P.E.K.K.A. So the P.E.K.K.A. The versus cannon cart interaction is kind of good. Like if you get a cannon cart and a P.E.K.K.A. down. Or a cannon cart and a Mega Minion down. It'll counter the P.E.K.K.A. So it's, it's a one negative trade. But you will still have the Mega Minion alive. So they'll need to spend some money on that. Or some money. Some elixir on that. 
Yeah, Giant basically speaks for itself. It's been in the meta since the start of the game. Giant has always been a pretty decent card. It did get nerfed about a year and a half ago or some, something like that. But as for now, Giant's pretty good. Bandit obviously speaks for itself. Really, really good card. And obviously Mega Minion, a really, really strong damage dealer. So yeah, guys, I hope I showed you guys how to play that deck enough for you to actually go out and use it. And if you like the deck, make sure to tell your friends about it and say that, yo, come onto my channel, go on the Ferg's channel and check out how he uses it if you want to use the deck. You know what I mean? That's how, I guess that's how Clash Royale channels grow, is it? I'm not really too sure how Clash Royale channels grow, but yeah, whatever, spread my name about. It would help me out a lot. I'm back on the daily grind. Make sure to like this if you enjoyed the little tutorial on how to play this deck. You know what I mean? Jelly Bean did get a 12 0 with it, and I'm a noob. If you're a noob, you can get 12 0 with it. You know what I mean? So yeah, like, comment anything you want down below. Deck suggestions, tips, tricks, video suggestions. I may start a series on my channel where I do use your decks on Grand Challenge. I won't be using them on Ladder because obviously my cards aren't up level enough. Like I'm a max level 13 with a level 2 Nightwitch, level 2 Bandit. If I used this deck on Ladder, I would get absolutely pub stomped. You know what I mean? Pub stomp basically means public match stomped. That basically means you're going to get terrorized on a public match. I got that from a COD because from COD because I am a COD kid from heart. But yeah, I would get pump stomped if I used this deck on ladder because my card levels are absolutely way too low. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. Like, comment, subscribe if you guys are new. Turn on those notifications if you want to join the hashtag Ferg fam. It's been your boy Ferg. Hope you have an absolutely great day. And without further ado, let's roll the outro.